Hi, today we are going to talk about a data type called dictionary data type. Okay, so uh, when we are talking about the dictionary data type, dictionary data type is nothing but uh, immutable data type. What is mutable data type? It's a value that can be modified whenever you want to change it. Okay, so dictionary is nothing but a collection of key value pairs. So when I'm talking about a key value pairs, uh, this data type will contain a key colon a value and you can mention multiple key value pairs within a dictionary data variable. Okay, for example, if you see here, okay, this is my variable name. This is the key. This is the value. This is the key. This is the value. This is the key. This is value. So multiple key value pairs can be enclosed within a flower braces. Multiple key value pairs can be enclosed within a flower braces. But one thing which we should remember when we are talking with respect to the dictionary data type is it doesn't allow duplicate keys, but we, it allows duplicate values, but it doesn't allow duplicate keys. And Whenever you are trying to index it, indexing can be done based on the key value pairs, but uh, you cannot use multiple uh, duplicate key values, uh, but you can use duplicate, you cannot use duplicate keys, but you can use duplicate values. So when we have multiple key value pairs, the value should be enclosed within the flower braces. If you want to retrieve the first set of key values. The first set of key values, this is indexed with zero. This another set of key value pairs is indexed with one. Another set of key value pairs will be indexed with two. Okay. So suppose if you want to um, uh, index, indexing is done in such a way. Okay. Suppose if you want to print the values, okay, if, the, if you want to print the value based on key value, okay, what you're going to do that there, you have mentioned the variable name of key, key name will return the value of that particular key. The variable of the key name will return the value of that particular, will return the value of that particular key, okay. So once you have this uh, key value pairs, what it is happening in this sense, suppose if you are going to, go, if you want to print the value of this particular key, just mention print of dictionary name of this particular key, dictionary uh, variable of that particular key will return you the value of this particular, the key of this particular key, which is nothing but C, okay? And even similarly with H, Okay, age is also you can mention here, uh, dictionary of uh, dictionary variable of age will return you the value of 31. Suppose if you do, you, if I want to declare an empty key value with empty dictionary variable. So just an empty dictionary variable can simply be represented in this particular way. Just mention the dictionary uh, variable name is equal to empty flower basis. What it will do, it will create an empty dictionary when you're mentioning with empty flower braces. Okay, so now what we will do in this sense, we will try to look at, we will try to look at some of the ways of accessing the dictionary values. You, we have already seen that accessing dictionary values, but in case if you want to modify the values, making use of keys, then we can, we'll look at a small set of examples. Okay, so uh, let me go through Jupiter. Okay, Jupiter. So here is my Jupiter. So as we have discussed, this is my, um, this is nothing but my empty uh, dictionary. And here, here, I'm mentioning my uh, uh, key value pairs where this is my first key and this is my second key. And when you try to print this, Okay, when you try to print this, what is happening? It is going to print you all the key value pairs in, the, in this particular dictionary variable. Okay, now here if you see, there is another set of, uh, this is another set of variable. Okay, this is another variable where you have 
key value pair and here if you see this is another key which contains list of values this is another key which contains list of values when i try to print that particular one what is happening it is going to print you the uh, list of key value pairs whichever we have mentioned in the value in, in this particular variable okay and if you want to create um, an empty dictionary apart from mentioning just uh, this flower braces there is another way of uh, creating an empty dictionary an empty dictionary can be uh, created making use of dict function dict function will also create an empty empty uh, dictionary so if you want to create a dictionary with a list of tuples okay if you want to create a dictionary with a list of tuples then you can mention dict function okay you can mention dict function in this particular function we need to pass the key value key value key value okay this is nothing but one uh, let's say this is one tuple this is another tuple okay this is another tuple so these are nothing but list of tuples this is the list of tuples and you need to pass the list of tuples the first one will be taken as the key value the second key the first one will be taken as key and the second value will be taken as uh, the value of that particular key okay this is nothing but creating the list of tuples making use of dict function so if you see uh, this is what we have seen how do we access we access the value of that particular key by mentioning the variable name and when uh, variable name of that particular key will be give you the value of that particular dictionary so so slowly if we see slowly if we see that uh, we have multiple uh, we have multiple values here we have seen that we have uh we we are, we are provided with multiple name value pairs key value key value key value pairs suppose if i want to change from satish to raju i mean for name key name key i want to change the value it is always possible by mentioning the variable name of that particular key value is equal to modified value okay my dictionary of name is equal to the new modified value when you provide the value will get automatically changed for that particular key this is what is how to update the elements but if you want to add an another set of key value pairs then what you do just mention the variable name adding a new key value pair okay mention the variable name of new key is equal to new value new key is equal to new value then it will it will be automatically added to that particular dictionary in order to remove a set of values okay in order to remove um, in order to remove suppose if i say i have this set of values the dict my dictionary variable contains this set of values so if i say pop function pop function on top of this variable variable name dot pop function and give the key name okay and give the key name then it will remove this particular key value pair of what we have mentioned in the pop function if we mention pop function of the key name it will uh, remove it will remove the name value pair it will remove the name value pair of that particular key value pair i'm sorry this is key value pair it will remove the key value pair of that particular and the remaining values is what it is when it print you see here you don't have the age and uh, key, uh, age and age value will not be present in this variable if i make use of pop item okay if i have a variable name and i have a function called pop item this pop item will remove the last key value pair from the dictionary so these are my set of values in the dictionary so what will happen Uh, when you try to use pop item function this pop item function will remove the last key value pair from that particular dictionary okay 
so these are the set of um, dictionary uh, values okay the set of dictionary uh, key value pairs and we have how to uh, we have seen how to add uh, values key values to the dictionary we have seen how to remove key value pairs from the dictionary okay suppose if i want to remove all items all key value pairs then go with the variable name dot clear variable name dot clear will remove all values of that particular dictionary okay variable name dot remove will remove all the values of that dictionary so as i have been telling you for what i expect you guys to do in this is just go through this dictionary functions okay whatever we have seen till now and start mentioning your own values keep playing with the set of key value pairs adding removing how does the pop item works how does the pop uh, function works pop item function works just play with the functions and hi hi and see how the things work within this dictionary in the next video we will be talking about set uh, set data type and also we will also look at uh, the functions with respect to the set data type.